Hello and welcome back. In the short lecture, we will be learning about Azure AD Connect installation pre-request, the options that are available within Azure AD Connect to installation. So if you are trying to install the Azure AD Connect, you need to first verify a domain name. So when I say verify, you need to verify within Microsoft Azure Active Directory about your domain name that's your custom domain name so click on uh, custom domain name and verify here with your name so if you see here I did not at verified anything so it's just my tenant ID so I don't have any custom domain that's one of the pre requirement you must to have at least one uh, custom domain to be verified so that the users can log in actually with that custom uh, username otherwise uh, users will log in with only tenant name that's for example Daniel is gonna log in with um, daniel.craig at paddy learning in my lab dot on microsoft.com which is a lengthy name instead of that if a user able to log in uh, with their actual domain name that looks good so in my case uh, I have not uh, done that so that's one of the pre requirement and and the second one would be the you need to have at least server operating system uh, with 2008 R2 operating system or a later version of the operating system and that machine must be domain joined so that you can install AD Connect on this machine and also whatever the local uh, domain you have that must be changed let's say you have your Active Directory installed right so in your company so that user ID for example if it is uh, your domain name is uh, configured as mydc.local which is a non-routable domain and you wanted to configure uh, with a UPN or whatever the name format which should match with your company name.com for example I'm going to demonstrate in the upcoming demos with len in my lab.com which is my custom domain name so this domain name I would be verifying in Microsoft Azure Active Directory domains list and so I would be using the same domain name ID so I would be you now showing you how to do that within your local domain also and also you need to connect uh, can be installed um, here AAD and default configuration is uh, 50k uh, without the domain um, otherwise it will extend to 300k if you verify the domain name it will go for 300k and coming back to the permissions uh, you need to have at least the uh, global admin credentials for your tenant um, so that it can sync up and it can create the sync specific accounts and uh, that that way the two is sync specific things would happen and also uh, if you're trying to install with a custom uh, then you would actually get an option to install SQL full option otherwise if you are using Express um, option uh, while doing the AAD connect SQL Express edition gets installed um, along with the uh, default uh, limitations of the SQL Express is 10 GB of the database size and it can easily fit for below 100k objects uh, within your Active Directory and if your company is looking more than 100k objects go for uh, full SQL installation that means you need to end up with full SQL specific licensing also so during the installation you would be getting these are the four different authentication or the configuration specific component checkboxes would be getting up and you need to you know configure um, that and also these are the uh, authentication options or the user sign-in options I would see so these are the additional options you will be getting so people will also short called PHS that is a password hash synchronization and also pass through authentication and uh, federation specific ADFS or ADFS with um, ping federate uh, so these are the user specific authentication and also you have the option for the single sign-on that means the on-premises users can um, automatically log in and access the Azure AD specific applications so that that would enable the single sign-on option for your complete on-premises also so now let's have a look on uh, 
what exactly the password hash synchronization it, hash sync is an algorithm that actually it's not exact the password um, instead it actually uh, does some kind of a multiplication and it generates the hash value and that hash value will be rewritten one more time to the text format and then hash uh, gets generated for that uh, specific password and that value will be synced to azure active directory that means it actually not syncing actual password what happens is within uh, with the azure 80 it always uh, checks the hash value if that hash value matches the authentication will be allowed otherwise it doesn't do so if you choose the password hash synchronization what would happen is uh, if you are trying to authenticate um, the processing of this authentication process by azure ad and the authentication request should not be redirected uh, to your on premises that's where uh, you choose the password hash synchronization and coming back to the pass uh, through authentication uh, you would be not choosing this option if you want to authenticate uh, to be processed by Azure AD an authentication request will be redirected to your on-premises Active Directory so that means there will be an agent that would actually take care of this pass through authentication so the users actual credentials will be validated in the on-premises and the third one uh, for the federation definitely uh, when you want to use this kind of you know authentication actual authentication would happen on on-premises provider as well as the authentication requests are redirected to on-premises so complete on-premises you are dependent in that situation you would be not choosing the ADFS or the ping federated otherwise you are not going to configure any kind of you know authentication specific options for the users um, that doesn't matter that doesn't actually make sense so you would be not choosing any of the uh, methods so mostly we would be in a go for the pass-through authentication or uh, password hash authentication along with this single sign on now so when you try to install this um, there are a few of the accounts gets created within active directory as well as uh, within Microsoft Azure active directory so the first one would be the uh, when you're trying to install AAD connect on your active directory there is a account gets created called MSOL with a number like seven series or one of the number series so this account gets um, created within your active directory and this will have read and write operations on your local active directory you can find this information on AD connector so once you install this AD, AD connect tool uh, you have this option where you would be you know uh, jumping into uh, active directory connected option and go to the properties and configure directory partition so this is where it actually shows that specific value of the username so I would be you know, showing you that post installation um, within that demo but for now uh, if you look at the accounts uh, that creates in Azure Active Directory there's another account gets created called sync underscore uh, specific account uh, like you know sync Active Directory underscore seven seven or whatever the you know series uh, which would be you know, created so this account you can you know find out under right operations will be done under your Azure AD uh, connect connector so there are two connectors will be you know, created one for Azure AD and other one would be the uh, for Active Directory so that the sync or the import export operations would happen in two identities so that you would be you know, getting as the single identity management feature now the other one would be the, there is a service account also gets created called AD service account and also uh, if you selected the single sign on there is a computer account would be you know, created uh, if you can you know closely notice under your computer so these are the uh, options that would be um, you would be you no know, getting when you try to install AD Connect. So uh, I would be you no know, attaching the Microsoft documentation link. Please go through that for the latest AAD Connect specific uh, pre requirements. I would always uh, strongly recommend that you always go with latest AAD Connect so that you get the latest benefit. Lastly, if you want to know about whether you have AAD connectors configured or not, just go to your Azure AD and under overview in the right side, you see here syncs is not enabled anywhere 
or sp with specific to Azure AD Connect and it's not enabled or sync was never ran. So you would be getting these options. And if you want to you know, see the tenant specific licenses, you can check out here. Uh, at least uh, you have the uh, P1 uh, specific license should be there. So in my case, I have the P2, um, which I tried from the trial. I hope this session is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.